Hello ladies and gents, I'm the Dapper Rat and you're watching Rat Rants. Today's subject, Genji. Now for those of you who don't know this Zen Cyborg Ninja, here's a quick rundown. Genji is a cyborg ninja with an interesting past. He grew up in Japan as part of the Shimada clan but was killed by his brother Hanzo, or so everyone thought. Genji was found by Reyes, the leader of Black Watch, which is Overwatch's shadow organization. Genji then becomes a cyborg using the technology from Overwatch. He then goes on to Shambali Monastery and meditates with Zenyatta, forgiving his brother Hanzo in the process. Now he revisits his brother revealing to him that he was actually alive this whole time and hopes for him to heal and choose a path of good before taking action due to Winston's recall message. The world needs us now, more than ever. Are you with me? Now, with this cool backstory, you'd hope that people that play him would share his peaceful attitude, right? I sure thought so, but Genji mains quickly made a name for themselves and was promptly put into the cesspool that is Toxic Mains, along with Mercy, Doomfist, and a few others. Realistically, the people that actually play Genji are Reaper mains who also just so happen to watch anime, weebs who get off watching their 14th low-budget isekai this month. Essentially, they are adult edgelords or children, and the worst thing is that you can't even tell which is which even if they type something in the text chat. Overall, Genji mains tend to fall into this redditor slash discord mod stereotype group and they don't help this allegation by seething every time their discord kitten Mercy heals literally anyone else but them for a single second. Now then, to get into the meat and bones, let's go over his kit. However, really quickly, let me just say this. As it stands right now in Season 9, I wouldn't actually say Genji is OP. My hatred for his character is purely skill issue and copium. With that being said, let's continue. So first off, we have his two abilities, which is Anime Parry and Anime Slice. Anime Parry, or Deflect as some will call it, simply deflects all non-beam damage that hits Genji from the front. Honestly, I don't mind this ability all that much. It sucks that Genji is countered by beam using characters like Zarya, Symmetra, Mei, Moira, and maybe a few other that I forgot about. But ultimately, that's okay because the last thing I care about is a Genji main's feelings. Don't let them trick you, they don't care about yours. Next is Anime Slice, or Swift Strike, which is also simple. You dash forward dealing damage and this move resets cooldown instantly if you kill someone with it. A little annoying, but overall it is what it is. Next we have his passive abilities which are Wall Climb and Double Jump. Both are self-explanatory and just like Anime Slice, Double Jump is a little annoying to shoot at, but overall doesn't really matter, it is what it is. Finally, we have Genji's primary fire, Shotgun should- What? What do you mean that's not his primary fire? Secondary fire? Then what the hell is his primary fire? No, that's not right. I've literally never seen a Genji do that. Fine, I'll check it out in training then. But yeah, like, I, you're gonna be- Holy shit. It has come to my attention that Genji actually has both a primary and secondary fire. So, let's go over them. Genji's primary fire, known as actually take skill, is a three round burst projectile that is moderately difficult to land at medium ranges. Believe it or not, this is actually Genji's primary fire, although you'll never see it used in subplat ranks as that would require getting good. If it wasn't already clear, my problem with Genji is his stupid secondary fire, known as Mommy, please hold my hand. This secondary fire throws three shuriken in a cone shape and is so good that it trivializes his primary fire. Up close, it does better burst damage, a little far away, it's easier to aim and get value out of, and medium distance and beyond, you might as well not shoot as your secondary fire is weak. This BS was also exacerbated with the projectile changes that came with Season 9, genuinely making it so that a Genji must be mechanically dysfunctional or using a controller in order to miss his secondary fire. Genuinely, my opinion of a Genji changes dramatically if they use his primary fire and do so successfully. Death to a Genji's primary fire doesn't enrage me because it doesn't feel like Genji is being handed out easy damage on a silver platter. Until something happens to Genji that makes his secondary fire moot, I will seethe and insta-lock Mei every time I see one. I do not care if the Genji is good or not. I do not care if he is a nice person. I will hop on Mei, I will shoot through his defect, and I will make sure he does not have fun. This goes deeper than me getting better at the game and being able to counter Genji anyways. I will still insta-lock Mei even if I am better than him because I do not care. I don't want him having fun and I don't care if I am a bad person for wanting him to be miserable. Respectfully, to any Genji mains that are watching this, suck my nuts. As for you, dear viewer, thanks for getting this far. 
make sure you like and subscribe because I get on unhinged rants like this quite often. With that being said, as always, farewell ladies and gents.